years ago, I enrolled into a pharmacy technician program at my high school, Miami Lakes Educational Center, in which basically the students would learn everything necessary in order to become a pharmacy technician over the course of four years. And as soon as we graduated, we would be certified. And then we had to complete a two month program to allow us to get our license. So um, I'm currently in the program to get my license. I'm already certified, fortunately. Um, it's been a very long four years. I've learned a lot of information, medications, laws, regulations, um, everything a pharmacy technician can and can't do. And um, hopefully in the future, I can get into pharmacy school, become a pharmacist. Um, so basically, uh, the people that I was with over the four years um, shared the same goals as me. They were interested in pharmacy technician and they all hope to become pharmacists in the future. Um, we are all enrolled in the program now. We are working in Walgreens for eight weeks and we have to complete 25 hours a week to gain experience in the retail pharmacy to be able to receive our license. We all took the exempt exam, which is the pharmacy technician exam in order to get your certification. So we are all luckily certified um, and we're just waiting, trying to get these two months over with and soon we'll be able to actually work at the age of 18 in a pharmacy as a pharmacy technician, which is not something that many people at our age can um, reach. In the first picture, you're going to see my pharmacy teacher all the way to the left. And then everybody wearing the dark blue scrubs is my pharmacy family, whom I shared the past four years with. Um, the following two pictures are just pictures we took in school. And then the final picture is a picture we took in front of Mount Sinai Medical Center in Miami Beach, in which we did volunteer hours together um, as part of the pharmacy program. I just got to the pharmacy. I'm exhausted, but I'm going to wake up now with some coffee and get ready to work. Um, I'm only going to work like three hours today because I already completed most of my hours um, earlier this week. Um, so let's go. So I'm going to go over the process from the moment the patient order comes in. So the first thing I have to do is look for the medication in the shelves. There's a whole bunch of shelves so it takes me a couple minutes to find it, but luckily some parts are alphabetized as you can see. Um, next I have to check the prescription and see the quantity that is needed for that patient. Um, I have to pour the pills out onto a counting tray and on the counting tray I count by twos and put the pills into like an indented part on the pill tray and then from that indented part I directly pour it into the orangish container. Um, I then place the label which has the patient information and the medication name and the prescriber name and the pharmacy name and all that on on the actual bottle and then I have to put it in a little bin so that the pharmacist checks it. As far as the pharmacy lingo, there's three types. The first one is between the pharmacist and the prescriber. The second one is between either the pharmacist or the pharmacy tech and the patient. Or the third one is between the pharmacist and the pharmacy techs or the pharmacy techs within each other. Um, so the first one is the pharmacist with the prescriber. 
they usually don't speak on the phone, but the prescriber writes a prescription and it is either emailed or the patient turns it into the pharmacist. And the way they speak or write is through codes. So for example, QID means four times a day, BID means two times a day, HS means bedtime or hour of sleep. So um, in pharmacy school, you obviously have to study that. Prescribers also have to study that when they go to medical school. Um, the second type of lingo is between the pharmacist or the pharmacy technician with the patient. So that lingo is just basic. Everything has to be thoroughly explained to a patient because obviously they don't understand the codes. Um, and then the third lingo is between the pharmacy techs within each other or the pharmacist with the pharmacy techs. And we don't specifically have a lingo. It's basically a mixture of patient lingo and a prescriber lingo. But we do definitely talk <laughs> crap about customers when they're rude, for example, because um, most of the time customers will just go in ready to argue for no reason because they clearly don't know that we're just doing our jobs but yeah so there's a lot of gossip going on in the pharmacy sometimes at other times we just we don't care at a certain point like just it gets old but the last thing i'm gonna go over are the laws and regulations for pharmacy technicians so the do's include Answering the telephone when it comes to patient refill. Um, they're allowed to dispense a medication either through the drive through or in person. They're allowed to fill the prescriptions. And then the don'ts include consulting a patient, which is giving them advice on what medication they should take or um, telling them what it is exactly that their condition is. Um, Technicians are also not allowed to transfer medications. For example, if one Walgreens calls in saying they want to transfer a patient's um, prescription, they aren't allowed to do so. They have to give the phone to the pharmacist. So the pharmacist is basically in charge of all the more doctor acts, such as um, the giving advice and handling um, insurances and such. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about my discourse community. See you next time.